Welcome back here, folks. Welcome back. It is your host, The Wolf of Crypto. You guys are listening to The Wolf of Crypto podcast. Thanks for coming back in. Uh, today's show, today's topic is going to be DSO and um, a platform that's built on top of it. It's called DSOFI. Um, it's actually one of the applications that's on the DSO blockchain. And uh, DSO, actually, if you guys are familiar with BitClout, um, it was formerly known as BitCloud, but they revamped, changed their image, changed their title. There's a lot of different things. And we're going to be talking about some of those different things um, here today. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to kind of get back onto this platform, try to create a lot more content um, going forward. Obviously, this is a decentralized uh, mobile app that is built on top of the DSO blockchain. And there's a lot of different apps um, that I've been kind of discovering as of late, because uh, like I said, I haven't really used the platform probably in about at least some months, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But as far as DSOFI, which is, like I said, the particular app that we'll be talking about here today, um, it's the first decentralized social media mobile app built on the DSO blockchain. So, yeah, that is correct. Um, you can download it on iOS and Android where available. As far as, you know, what exactly is DSOFI and, you know, what kind of makes it a little bit different from some other social media platforms. Um, you got DSOFI, which is a revolutionary platform that puts the power back into the hands of the users. So unlike other social media platforms, this one right here is also built on the DSO blockchain, which means that users have full control over their data and content. So with DSOFI, um, you do get your own keys. Um, so when you create that wallet, you do get your own keys. So everything, you know, you do own as far as being able to access that, those private keys are the same concept when it comes to, you know, protecting your crypto. So there's that similarity there as far as private keys go on this particular platform, which separates it from other regular social media platforms like such as IG, Facebook, um, all the centralized social media platforms where obviously they control, you know, pretty much everything they have. Um, the ability to see the data and, you know, we've already seen what, <laughs> what kind of source of troubles have came from that. But back to DSOFI, obviously with your own keys, it gives you complete access to your data and content. So it allows you to share what you want to share with people that you want to share it with, right? Having that freedom to share content with whoever and not being at the mercy of the platform's algorithm or advertising policies and those are two things that I kind of want to just expand on a little bit here, because especially those of you that are, you know, using the regular centralized social media platforms, there's been times where you come on IG, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it may be. And, you know, depending on that algorithm, they're going to be showing you all the stuff that you want to see. Right. And maybe sometimes we don't want to always necessarily see that stuff, especially when it comes to ads. I mean, man. I can't tell you how many times there's been times where I get on the platform and there's just so many ads on my timeline, on my feed to the point where, you know what, I'm just fed up and I'm just like, you know what, I'm done for the day because, you know, there's, I would say, oversaturated ads that are just on your feed and it's just, you know, you lose kind of, you lose interest, at least for me personally. Um, that's just my opinion on it, seeing a bunch of ads and algorithms that I don't necessarily want to see, but I know it's there for the platform for those particular users, yada, yada, yada. I get that. But there's times where I just want to be able to go on my app, whatever the case would be, and just kind of scroll through endlessly or whatever without having to be bothered with that stuff. Right. So um, now as far as DSOFI, it's incredibly user friendly. It's very easy to get started. All you got to do is download the app. You create your account and then you can start creating, sharing content such as text, photos and videos. Um, so it's, I would say it's very similar. If you guys are familiar, obviously I, was, I would think most of you guys are familiar with Twitter and that platform definitely do some, see some similarities there. So as far as the user friendly, um, capabilities of the app, very easy, very simple. Um, it also allows you to embed links as well. Um, you can actually, uh, do some blog posts on there as well. Um, so instead of just doing your typical, you know, I believe on DSOFI, you're allowed to do 250 characters. Um, so if you don't, you know, if you feel like you're running out of room when it comes to that, you do have that option 
um, to turn that post into basically a blog post and have the freedom to write as much as you want. Um, as far as the app, the app is also integrated with Diesel's decentralized storage network, which means that your data and content are stored on a decentralized network of computers rather than on a central server. This means that your data is secure and can't be accessed or deleted by anyone other than you, um, which is really impressive. I mean, obviously, this could be really a game changer for social media and how it moves forward, um, especially, I would say, when it comes to decentralized social media. I'm not really talking Web 2 here. Everybody's basically kind of, you know, transferring or making that transition to Web 3. And I really think that this particular app and there's some other apps that's built on a diesel blockchain that I can see potentially, you know, overtaking some household social media apps that we're already accustomed to today. You know, right now they are saying that DSOFI is already the most utilized decentralized social media app. And it's only going to get bigger um, as more people and users just, you know, kind of make their way over to the platform. I would say a lot of people are tired of having their data and content controlled by a few big corporations. We all know those headaches. So now I kind of want to transition to some of their different features um, that you'll see on this particular platform. Um, obviously, you know, one of the features that's pretty cool is the post to earn feature. Um, with this feature, users can earn rewards for creating and sharing high quality content. The more popular your content becomes, the more rewards you'll earn. Um, this feature encourages users to create engaging content and helps to build a strong community on the platform. So, and uh, this ability or the way creators reward it is with diamonds. So um, on DeSoFi, you can use the money native characteristic of the blockchain to provide users more tools to reward the content and creators that they like. Diamonds, which is also known as social tipping, is basically the new like button. Uh, with one click, you can send different amounts of money to show your appreciation to the creator with no middle party taking a fee. So let's say I post, uh, you know, dope picture that I capture, I don't know, somewhere in the mountains, looks great, yada, yada, yada. Um, say, so, you know, just the custom, you know, typical, oh, you know, you just like that post and that's it, right? Now you come on here, instead of just obviously liking the post, reblogging it, reposting it, whatever the case would be. Now you can also give that creator some diamonds, which is, yes, this is money because <laughs> um, obviously everything is all part of the diesel economy and diesel right now. The current price of that, I believe, is like, like nine bucks, some change. So every time you give somebody diamonds and you actually have the option to choose how many diamonds you want to give that particular creator. So whether it be like, you know, a penny, five cents, 10 cents, um, you can kind of get the idea. So with that ability. You know, that kind of, you know, changes the game a little bit, especially from the creator side. Now, I feel like there's more incentive to try to create, you know, the best content that you can possibly create. Because, you know, if you have fans where it gets to be there coming across, seeing that content, now you're going to get rewarded for that content that you produce instead of, you know, the corporation just taking most of the money. Right. Um, so that's a really cool feature, obviously. It's going to be neat to see how they're going to be able to continue to build on to that. I know they probably want to add some more little, maybe some trinkets here and there. Um, another feature of DSOFI that's really cool is the social NFTs. Uh, what DSOFI allows users to mint their own unique digital assets. And these assets can be used to represent anything from digital art to music to personal data. Social NFTs are a new, exciting way for users to monetize their content and gain recognition for their work. So, which means your next post could be worth a lot of money. If you guys remember the Twitter CEO who sold his first ever tweet for $2.9 million as an NFT, which still to this day is mind blowing. So for the first time in history, we got, you know, NFTs, social media, all meeting in one place where it allows you to display your art any collectibles that you might have, and also those precious moments that you've shared countlessly on your social profile. So again, that's just another feature. The other feature which comes into play, which would be the social tokens, which is really going to allow you to build your communities and build them in a unique way compared to before. 
Um, with these as a creator on DSOFI, you have your own social token that connects you with your fans um, closer than ever. Really, it's been possible compared to, like I said, regular social media platforms. We haven't seen this yet. So you decide on the value that you want to provide to your holders. So, you know, whether that be a one on one session, you know, maybe giving them some exclusive uh, media art music. I mean, who knows? Everything is really in the power of the creator and trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to build a loyal community of fans who are invested in your success. Because let's take example here. Let's say you're that up and coming creator. People start investing to your coin. And let's just say maybe two or three years down the road, you, you know, go viral. And now all of a sudden, all those early investors that invest to your coin now are going to be profiting off of, you know, basically you blowing up. So beforehand, it would just be the creator that would be, you know, profiting from this viral sensation. Now it's like everybody that's been with him since day one or whether it could be one of those, you know, uh, loyal, like some of the loyal, loyal fans. Because, you know, everybody's got some loyal fans out there that have been listening to since day one. Um, been through thick and thin. So now with these tokens, it kind of, you know, provides that value to say, hey, you know, you've been riding with me since day one. Not only am I going to be profiting from this, you actually going to get a little piece of the change as well. So that changes the game, changes the dynamic of how we were probably going to view social media going forward and kind of makes you almost put on your business hat as a creator, because as you are giving out coins or people invest into your coins, they want to see, you know, hey, what kind of value am I getting from investing to this particular creator's coins? Like, you know, could he be, you know, the next Logan Paul or some of these, you know, famous YouTubers, famous Twitter people, famous IG people. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But let's just say if you were that particular fan that, you know, was following and kind of seeing, you know, where this guy could potentially go or where this girl could potentially go. But before you never had the opportunity to kind of say, you know, I want to invest just into them because they see, hey, they're a good personality. I see what they got to take to, you know, become the next YouTube star, whatever. Now we have that option. Now fans have the option to, you know, basically ride off their success as well. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, like I said, the app, um, this is all still new. They're still building not too many users on the platform right now, even though they are still, you know, obtaining more and more as time goes on. Obviously, like I said, I haven't been on the platform as of much, but now that I'm seeing some other particular apps that have kind of grabbed my attention, that are also on the DSO blockchain, which I will be Discussing here in the next couple episodes, um, one of them is obviously going to be the NFTs, um, that particular platform where you can, you know, go ahead and start, you know, minting NFTs, I think for like less of a penny. Um, so I, that's another particular platform that I'll be diving into, kind of seeing the ins and outs. I'm actually going to be start to make my actually my own NFTs on here as well. Haven't actually created any NFTs. Um, so this is going to be kind of like my first project where I'm going to try it out, see how it goes and, you know, kind of just take it from there. Obviously with DSO, um, if you look at the, if you look up the token, like I said, right now it's cheap compared to when I was on Big Cloud, when Big Cloud was around, I remember that token was pretty high. Um, obviously it took off, you know, huge drop, drop off just like everything else, but I still got, you know, people on their building, still trying to contribute, still trying to get this thing, you know, maybe to that level of IG, Twitter, um, all those big shot social media apps that we see today. But again, it needs, you know, pioneers. It needs people to talk about the platform, you know, give their opinions about their, um, their experiences on it. I mean, I haven't had any issues on it. It is, like I said, it's pretty cool because again, this is a particular platform that is going to incentivize everybody. So whoever you're communicating or engaging with on that platform Everybody has a chance to, you know, make some type of money. Um, Obviously, you're going to have your high earners, you're going to have your low earners, your middle earners. It just depends on the content that you create. 
Um, so that will be the next project. And there's also another project that I'll be discussing here in the near future. Um, it's called Pearl. Um, I also discovered this one not too long ago. Um, it reminds me of Instagram. Um, yeah, that's like the first thing that came to mind. It's almost, she always say like the UI almost looks a little similar to, uh, to IG as well, but same concept, um, is basically like an IG platform, but all the pictures and videos that you are sharing on there, again, you have the opportunity to what monetize because that's basically the future of, I would say what web three, giving the opportunities to everybody. Everybody gets a chance to monetize, right? No matter the small creator, if it's a big creator, everybody is on the same playing field. It just depends on how much content that you can produce that's high quality enough to get the sort of engagement and maybe some of the earnings that you're looking for. So that's going to wrap, wrap it up as far as today's pod on DeSoFi. Again, it's on the DeSo blockchain. Uh, if you guys haven't played with the app, highly encourage you do. Um, just try it out. I mean, I'm already starting to kind of move some of my old content from like Twitter, Facebook, or just old content in general over onto DSO uh, because again, opportunities to earn something. I mean, it could be a penny a day, five cents a day. Ten, I mean, you're going to be earning something and you might not have a lot of followers. Like right now, prime example for me on DSO, uh, I believe I have like 155 followers. Obviously, we're going to want to work to get that higher. Um, like I said, I've been kind of distant from the platform. But now, like I said, I'm about to get back on this bad boy and see, you know, if there's really some opportunities to use this to my advantage to where I can, you know, just create all the time. Right. Because if you are a content creator, I think 90 percent of us would like to just create content on the daily get paid for it you know keep it pushing right um but yeah i appreciate everybody tuning in hopefully you learned something uh be on lookout for some more episodes i'll also probably i might actually be doing a video on my youtube channel on it as well so uh just make sure you guys are following you know all my different platforms here like i said you're gonna start to see a lot more content coming from my side um but like i said i appreciate y'all tuning in i am your host the wolf of crypto and uh, until the next podcast, y'all take care, man. Be easy out there. And remember, don't invest into something that, you know, you're not really willing to lose. Other than that, peace.